Hi, I'm Sarah and today Izzy is going to groom her pony to go out for a ride. She's brought him in from the field and we have a grooming kit here which contains a dandy brush, a body brush, a hoof pick, a face brush, a comb and she has a little comb for plaiting, two sponges, one for the face and one for the tail and the dock and a rubber curry comb. So Izzy, now we're going to start to groom the pony. I'd like you to pick his feet out first. So there's a bucket. Now we use a bucket to pick their feet out into because it prevents the mud. On you go, you keep going. Because it prevents the mud going onto the yard and making a mess. Run your hand down the. Let the pony know you're there. Run the hand down the back of the leg and pick the foot up. That's good. And hold it with your left hand. Put the point of the hoof pick into the heel of the foot by the to the side of the frog, and make a move, movement towards the toe good and then quietly put the foot down and so the if away. the pony's feet come in with a lot of mud on the feet then you can use a bucket with a brush and just quite just wash the mud off the foot before you pick the mud. Okay. What we're going to do is, is um, we're now going to move on to the next stage which is to get the mud and the sweat off the pony. This pony is nice and clean but sometimes when they come in from the, pony, from the field they are very muddy. So you're going to use your dandy brush and you can use your curry comb to get the mud off. So show me how you're going to use that. That's right. So if you try and get into the habit of using your left hand with the brush in on the left hand side of the pony and the right hand on the right hand side of the pony. If you meet any mud, which will sometimes be on the withers up here, then you can use that with your right hand and go round and round in a motion, that's it. And then your dandy brush can make it go flat and smooth the comb to get the mud or any sweat off under the saddle. Particularly brushing, that's it, good. Particularly brushing down under the girth with your, that's it. And now with a dandy brush to make sure that the sweat is off. i to use the body brush on the tail. So Izzy, you'd like to show us how you use the brush. The body brush on the tail is a little softer than the dandy brush and won't pull and tear the hairs out. Start with the tail at the bottom and then gradually get the tangles out and then move further up the tail. Now move up the tail a little bit and then start to separate the hairs out. Now you can start separating them and brushing them. That's it. Go up. And then you gradually go further up the tail till you can brush the whole tail and there won't be any tangles. Now, Izzy, I'd like you to brush the mane. Okay. So by separating the hairs each way, all the way down the mane, and keep moving, that's lovely, now I take another little bit, this brushes all the dust and the dirt out of the bottom of the mane, and when you've gone the whole way down the mane, then you can lay it all over till it's smooth and looking tidy. That's it, that gets the mane nice and clean. And then you can comb it down if that wants to make it lie a little flatter. Izzy, I'd like you to brush his face. She has got a soft brush that is specially to do his face with. You can also use a body brush. It is nicer than the dandy brush, which is a little hard. On you go, Izzy. She's going to undo the front of the head collar, which if you have a buckle on the front, it does make it a lot easier. And then she supports his head with her left hand and brushes around the ears, around the eyes, and particularly down under the jaw line, because that's where the sweat goes when they've got a lot of hair. And you him on both sides. And when you've finished, you get the head collar back on with the buckle done up fairly quickly. At this point, they must never be tied to a ring with the head collar off. And to finish off, Izzy now wipe his eyes and his nose, his eyes first with a damp sponge. And the other one. And then wet the sponge and his mouth. Good. With the other sponge, you now go and just wipe under his tail and round his dock. The 
grooming. Now, oil the feet. So, to recap with the brushes, the dandy brush is made of a much firmer material which is very good to get the mud off but it also does not take the grease out of the coat which for a pony who is out in the field with no rug on it is very important that the grease is in the coat to help keep them warm. The body brush is a much softer brush and it is ideal for the face and or the mane and the tail. So now we have the pony who is groomed and polished and ready to go for a ride. <laughs>